Welcome back to H3 Weapon Deep Dive. We've got a pair of AKs today, but not the ones you're probably used to seeing. These are the AK-12s. We have got an AK-12 and an AK-12 prototype. We are here in Ohm SMG Rifle, Assault Rifle, AK-12 Prototype, and AK-12. We've got AKs with rails. We've got AKs with folding stocks. What is going on with this guy? We are both chambered in 545 by 39 millimeter. There you go. So we've got access to big old drum rounds, or <laughs> drum magazines, rather. A lot to look at today. Let's check them out. Here is our assortment of 545 by 39 millimeter magazines. We've got a little 10 rounder. We've got a little 20 rounder. Now we've got a big pile of 30s. So here's a 30 in kind of this plum color. We got a 30 in the orange color. We got a 30 in, again, the same kind of brown as that one. And then we've got the AK-12 mag, which is a more modern looking polymer 30 rounder. And then you've got the big 95 round drum. Ooh, there's a lot in there. Let's take a look at the controls, starting with the prototype. So mostly uh, typical AK controls here. You've got your ambidextrous bolt handle in this case, though. It's really small, though. You got to get eh, relatively close to it to grab it, but you can grab it from either side, so that's handy. It will not lock open. Pressing right on the trackpad does nothing. Down on the trackpad does not eject the magazine. Boo! Left in the trackpad is our selector switch. It is indicated on both sides. We've got safe, semi, three round burst, and full auto. And then back to safe. And that is on both sides. So that's pretty nifty. We've also got a collapsible stock here. You can grab it by the butt pad and give it a slide and adjust it to your size need. Uh, I think that's it. Now we've got more typical AK controls here. You've got your bolt handle only on the right side. Again, it, once it's in safe, you got to take it off safe in order to pull the bolt back. Typical AK stuff there. You've got full auto, two round burst, and semi all the way down. And then back to safe. Down on the trackpad does not eject the magazine. And does not lock open on empty. So, got to manually pull out the mag, manually put in a new one, manually rack the bolt, and then you're manually able to shoot again. Can you tactical reload the AK-12? Yes, you can. Take another magazine or a, I don't know, spatula, and hit the little mag release lever right there. If you hit it hard enough, in the right way, <laughs> there you go, you can eject the magazine and insert a new one. Can you tactical reload with AK-12 prototype? Same thing, yep. In fact, it seems a little easier with this guy. Let's see what attachments will go on this sucker. Well, for an AK, we've got rails. So that's exciting, exciting, exciting news. Do we have a Russian dovetail mount though? Well, no. So we give up our dovetail mount and go with Pick rails. So, can we put a red dot on it? Yeah, we can put a red dot on it like that. We can put even a red dot on it way the hell out there if you wanted to. Look at that. You've got this really far forward front rail. How about this bottom rail? Yeah, you can put a foregrip on that bottom rail. That's handy. Put a laser on it. If I can find my laser. There we go. Yeah, AK with a laser. That's cool. Let's see what attachments will fit on the barrel. We've already got something on there, but let's see if we can put an extra muzzle brake on it. Yes, we can put an extra muzzle brake on it. Can we put a suppressor on it? Whoop, whoop, yep, come on. Yeah, there you go. Bar Whoa, sorry, barrel extension. Yeah, barrel extension will go. You can't really see it because it kind of gets swallowed up there, but... And there's your <laughs> rail adapter. We already got some rails on here, so we don't really need it. What else do we got? Well, we already got a stock. Can't put a stock on it. Battle spatula. Yeah, and it looks good on it, too. Nice. How about an AK bayonet? Where? There there it goes! AK bayonet! And the trick to the AK bayonet, at least for the trick to taking it off, is to grab it by the front ring. Right up here. 
try to grab it anywhere else, it won't work. So that was, took me a while to figure that out. Moving on to the AK-12 regular, <laughs> as it were. Let's see, we've got rails. Where's my red dot? There we go. We've got same corner top rail. We don't have that super far forward front top rail, but we do have top rail. We've got a bottom rail too. So, hey, we can put a foregrip on it if we so choose. What will go on the... No, a different flash hider on there. Okay, we can put a muscle brake on top of that. How about a suppressor? Yeah, we can put a suppressor on there. Barrel extension, I know that'll go. Yep, barrel extension will go. And the rail adapter. Rail adapter. Ooh, and it kind of hides the existing existing brake there too. So that's kind of neat. How about paddle spatula? Yeah, oh, whoa. Oh, interesting. Hides the existing one. Ooh, special tech there for the battle spatula. Oh, there you go. Huh. How about the AK bayonet? Yeah, AK bayonet will go, and it doesn't mess with the uh, existing flash hidery thing. Cool. Let's see if we take it off the same way. Yeah, front ring. Front ring on the AK. What else do we got? Stock. Already got a stock. I think that just about covered. Oh, yes. Let's see if we've got no Russian dovetail rail on the side, or mounting on the side, rather. Don't need it, you already got your rails, but it does mean that you can't put your PSO scopes on there. With the fancy AK, so oh well. Back to the prototype and let's take a look at our iron sights. Hey, oh, okay, very not AK style iron sights. So we've got a round aperture in the rear. Let's see if that is adjustable. It is. Oh, it tilts up. So it'll tilt up all the way out to 800 meters. That is cool. I like that. Especially if I can put it back where it was. There we go. Hey, okay. There we go. Let's see how these look. So we got our front post with the ring protector. And that makes it very easy to match up with the ring of the rear aperture. Let's see what it looks like with a red dot. Does the red dot get up and over? Hmm, not really. So you're going to have to pull your eye up over that and kind of do one of those with it. But it works. Moving on to the 12. What iron sights do we have? Oh, similar, but not exactly the same. So the aperture appears to be smaller or farther forward, either one. Uh, let's see if it's adjustable. It is adjustable out to 800 meters again. See what we get here. So the front ring, or the rather the front guard, is bigger in the eye. So it doesn't, it's harder for me to match that up because it becomes hidden by the rear aperture. I don't know if that'll be picked up in the video, but I don't like these as much. I mean, they're okay, but the other ones are definitely better. See what it looks like with the red dot. And again, you really got to pick your eye up over this and kind of kind of firing it like this almost. Yeah, so I'm lowering it on my body, angling it up a little bit so I can pick up that red dot and going empty. Typical. All right, recoil test. We're going to start with the prototype. 30 rounds of 545 by 39 millimeter. Full automatic. There we go. Let's go. Well, started off really good. A lot of 10s. Got a 9.27, which is a fantastic result. Mm. Whoops. And... There's the other S. Ah, yeah, so we started drifting out there towards the end, the 8s and 9s. But started out great. Let's see if the additional muzzle brake makes a difference. Nine point five seven. Well, it didn't feel like it made a difference, but it did, at least in the numbers. So, hmm, not sure if it's going to really help. I might as well try it if you can. And finally, the suppressor. Mmm, definitely not as good. 9.13. So I guess this is another case of the suppressor uh, replaces the existing flash hider, and that flash hider is actually acting as the same as that muzzle brake. 
and so it actually gets worse recoil with the suppressor. All right, on to the AK-12 regular. Here we go. Felt pretty good there, 9.77 average, so a little better than the prototype. I don't know if that's just luck or if this is actually a better recoiling uh, firearm, but statistically, it's noticeable. Half a point. On to the muzzle brake. Yeah, that felt really good. 9.67. Ooh, both of them, both of them were excellent results. Excellent results. And finally, the suppressor. Ooh. Ooh, 9.83. So maybe the suppressor doesn't make it worse. I don't know. At least it doesn't on the AK-12, that's for sure. Ooh. There you have it, the AK-12, the prototype, and the final version. Pretty cool. Till next time, I will see ya. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, they go good.